In many parts of Asia, such soy milk products is usually served as breakfast and is usually bundled to be eaten with other breakfast items such as flaky pastries, noodles, rice, steamed soup dumplings. I would like to think that Taiwan or rather Taipei is the birthplace of this soy milk restaurant. Through time, Taiwan has bring it to another level of able to eat such food throughout the whole day as all day breakfast rather than only having it in the morning. Speaking of soy milk king, in this episode, I am fortunate enough to have two of such household names in Taipei eating back to back. I am PKing the famous Yonghe soy milk king versus Rui An soy milk king. It would be interesting to pit the two soy milk king to fight one against the other.